Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Hassan SMP and in the last episode we built up a tower or one of the towers for our base and I've got a little bit carried away in between episodes and yep I've built all three and it looks actually quite cool now in the sunset here and um, we take a little fly and see them pretty cool and as you see there's still a little bit of work to do around the back um, around here as you can see I've laid out some dirt because I think I'm going to continue the kind of grassy hill that goes around the base and then I can do more of this with the I believe this is cyan terracotta grey concrete grey concrete powder um, and I think light grey concrete in there as well um, yeah, it actually does look quite cool at night there's not too many lights on it and probably some spots that mobs can spawn on especially up there on the roofs but yeah I'm pretty happy with how it looks I can't wait to get this island fully complete and in fact taking a fly by it's they're really tall in comparison to everything else around here um, but yeah got carried away and just kind of got on the rhythm and built them up but today the plan is to leave this on hold for now as I think I want to I've got all of it's like a lot of farms kind of on the go underneath here and elsewhere but I think one of the big ones that I want to do is get piglin trading um, but for that we're going to need a gold farm so because I'm already on the nether roof here and have the hoglin farm I think if I can find a nether waste biome um, pretty close by I think today's plan is to build up a gold farm now it's quite a big project I will need to gather quite a lot of resources for it um, but I do think it will be worth it in the long run uh, once we get the gold farm up and running we can then set up a piglin trading area to actually trade the gold with those guys and get all those goodies from them so yeah I think that's the first bit of work we will be doing and then maybe if I can get into the portal then maybe later on today in this episode well not today but in the episode um, we can start working on a potential area to store our items properly as I think it's quite a decent sized area to, and back here I can dig out this a little bit and take out some of these walls then have like a storage system in here as the storage situation for us is a little bit dire at the moment this is it and every time I do anything I just create another chest and another chest and another chest and it's unorganized um, yeah so a storage system of some sort would be ideal one last thing I almost forgot is I did an end run since I had the elytra and I did gather up some goodies so I got three spare elytra quite a number of shulker shells some diamonds and things and then a load of different tools and armor so pretty set for a while for this kind of stuff I still do need netherite as I'm rocking diamond but we'll get that when we get it but for now let me go and gather up what I need and we will try and get working on the gold farm alright guys so I've been doing a lot of resource gathering and I have got this up so far so this is all the magma blocks we're going to be using for the platforms for our farm and these are some of the other materials as I'm going to build up a little bit of a filtering system down at the bottom here to filter out everything that we don't want and got myself an I nether waste biome and there is a portal just over there that takes us to our, our mesa biome um, so yeah I'm just going to lay out where this is going to be so I'm thinking the chest probably going to do something like that I think I want maybe five and then have them four high alright so just decided to go with three high here so we've got five chests um, I was thinking that was a center spot but I'm actually going to move it a little bit uh, out of my way and yeah it's time to put in a little bit of a item filtering system out the back of these chests right okay they're in place and this will be the platform that the zombie pigmen will fall down and land on top of so the items are all filtered through this way and then as I said we do need to filter out all of the non-essential things or I suppose some of it's useful but I don't want anything other than the gold nuggets and ingots so that's pretty much 
it in terms of the system to dispense everything. So again, if we throw that, that moves the observer up, spits everything out, and then we'll just have it going into lava. So again, let me build that up, and then I think I will start pillaring up until we get to where our first um, platform is going to be. So I've built up here to the first little platform. So as you can see, it goes eight out on each side. I need to connect them all up in the corners. Um, then what we'll have in the middle, we'll have trap doors going along like this on each of the sides and on this one that I'm standing at. Then we need our turtle egg in the middle and more trap doors probably going around and this is pretty <laughs> going to be a bit of a task because I don't have Frostwalker on my boots and I couldn't find any or get any so I'm going to have to just crouch the whole way which <laughs> is going to be a little bit tiring um, but yeah we need to not there catch it close them and then basically I need to have it like that and then the next egg will go up onto the next layer once we get there Alright, all the layers are in place and it is now constructed and that took quite a long time there. I can see them actually falling down at the moment. Um, obviously I have an AFK spot all the way up there that I will go to at the moment um, and test out how long or how much drops we get. So I'll leave it for probably AFK for like 30 minutes or so um, and we'll see what we get. Alright, that's been about 30 minutes so let us go down and we can see just what we got from that. And... Hopefully there is a decent amount and it is all working. Oh, as you can see them pouring down here and that confirms to us that it is working. <laughs> um, some of them look like they're falling off so I might need to add in a few more hoppers there. But yeah, that is <laughs> that's pretty good. Almost filled up a full double chest from 30 minutes there. So pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, I'll need to do some more AFKing here. And... The next project I think for us, um, the reason I wanted to build this up is actually so we can get a piglin trading hall on the go, as I want to get all the trades and things, items from those guys, so that will go somewhere down here, and when I can get the materials to build that up. Let's take a little break from the nether as it is very dark and gloomy in there, as I've done some work around the base area, as you can see, there's a lot more nature and things in it, it looks pretty cool, I think it looks actually really nice as I try and get a nice view I've done all the back section as you may remember at the start of the episode we did say we we're going to work on this so it's looking great and it does actually extend down into the water I've attached it to the side of this cliff here that's still a little bit of texturing I could do here um, but for the most part it looks awesome I think let's take a closer look yeah, so just add in a lot of leaves, coarse dirt, um, bone meal to that, some bamboo as well, just to give a little bit of highlight to it, and yeah, pretty happy. Now, the problem I have here <laughs> is I have no way of actually entering these towers, as the whole base section is completely closed off, and same with the top section. The only way in, currently, is this little gap. Um, I've cleared out some area. Oh, um, this is awkward. Um, so, some of you may have noticed that I had a cat head out in the pile of heads over there, and it has been moved. <laughs> this is. <laughs> Um, I don't know who this was, but I did know. I do know that uh, DJ had called me out for the cat head, as I did say I wanted one as a friend. So I may or may not have killed it. I cannot confirm nor deny. So I think we will just take you, and we will hide you here. And what do we do with Mrs. Frumple Frump? Um. Um. 
Okay, I'm going to have to think of a th <laughs> what we're going to do with this cat. I don't know whose cat it is, but um, yeah. Okay, it's, it's apparently loves here now. Cool. Um, yeah. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, I cleared out this area down here. So I think we're going to put a storage system down here. Um, possibly that cat is just, it's making me on edge. But yeah, cat shenanigans aside, this is the only entrance, which obviously is just temporary. So I'm not sure where to put the real entrance. I was thinking of kind of in this section here with a bridge or staircase leading up to it. Um, it kind of depends what I'm going to do out here though, so it's difficult to say for now. So yeah, as it gets dark here and the <laughs> cat gods are looking down upon me um, <laughs> with judgement, I shall go back into the nether and continue what I was doing. Alright guys, it is done. Well, sort of done. Pretty much not done because the main important ingredient here is the piglins and they are not in their little pods because they do need to get them and I'll probably need to build some kind of platform to try and get them to spawn. Um, but pretty much everything else is done. Um, this area here, I've just got a little kind of build to put in, like uh, almost like a gold mining kind of little mural thing just for in that space. Um, but yeah, this is it. I was going to put a roof on it, but I thought I'll just leave it open. It looks actually quite cool as it is. And obviously, you can come around and see all the redstone and things at the back. And there is a little bit of extra stuff I've done off camera after the time lapse. And um, so I put in this here, which is a little minecart sort of loader thing. So I basically would throw the gold ingots in here. It would pick up from this hopper minecart and travel all the way up to the droppers. If I come up here, so it just goes over the droppers, or over some hoppers I should say, into the droppers, um, and then they are controlled at the back by this hopper clock, as you just saw it fire, um, so yeah, that controls, as I fail the jump, got, yeah, <laughs> that controls when the items are actually spat out to the piglins, I'll need to fine tune it again exactly how many items to put in that, um, and then they will... I come all the way down the items will first go into these chests then be pulled out by this hopper chain that runs all the way over our item filters here into the chests and there we are guys after a little bit more grinding of building our platform things we've managed to get all the piglins in place we have all the item filters in the back with the items that should be going this is just ones that I brought over myself I have not yet put any gold into the system. Little input there and yeah it is ready to test so our first test on camera um, how will this go I don't know <laughs> but first of all obviously we need to craft up the ingots and uh, we'll do that first of all and yeah we just throw them in there the main cart takes them delivers them to those guys, the hopper clock is running, it has been configured to the right amount of time we should see them, get the gold, there we are and wait for it, wait for it, hey we got our first items and again I don't know what they'll be because some of the stuff I put in here myself when I was making the filters for the items I do need another crying obsidian just for this item frame but it's working 
Well guys, now that we're back at the base and we have got the Pikmin trading up and running, that is awesome. I think we do need to address the cat situation. So I'm thinking that it was potentially DJ as he did tweet me um, a picture of the cat head when it was over there. So I'm thinking we maybe visit his base. Alright guys, I think we made it away safely, I hope you enjoyed. On my way back to the base now, and yeah, I think I'm going to have to call the episode there for today. It has been a little bit back and forward through the nether, but we do have um, Piglin Trading and a Gold Farm up and running, so that is awesome. If you enjoyed, leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you're not already. I do thank you very much for watching, until the next time, bye bye.